I have to say that I had a stigma towards school counselors um, in my own experience not being very superb. I had a friend who had interned here at South Albany previously and said, look Indica, you need to get your degree. You just need this internship. So I happened to um, intern underneath the head school counselor here at South. Um, and immediately within first observations, I thought to myself, this is what school counselors do? And what I took away from the counselor I worked with, with was that there was a very deep care for students, not academically to succeed in high school, but to take care of their mental health. And that played a huge role in my pursuit of school counseling. Um, I've been an advocate for mental health for a very long time. I think that the misconception is that we are problem solvers and we are fixers. We are not fixing things, just as similar as students aren't broken, um, individuals aren't broken, um, but rather we are here to be in the thick of it with you, with a family, with a parent, with a student, and we are here to connect you to resources just as much as we are planning and tracking the graduation requirements. So I think one of the best parts of the job as a school counselor is that every day looks different. Um, we can have a plan, solid meetings day to day, and everything can change with one instance of a student need. Um, and while that is hectic for the most part, I actually really love that part about my job. Um, I appreciate the ability to bounce between different projects and to be flexible as needed. Really my role is to support students in any way that I can, whether that's stuff going on at home, difficulty with teachers, difficulty with friends, and we get to collaborate together to determine what that support looks like. I have, I would say, a niche and a passion for social justice um, and for diversity, equity, and inclusion. And being of certain identities as Latina, as a queer woman, um, using they them pronouns while identifying as a female um, can be hard for people and so a big project of mine was to establish a Genders and Sexualities Alliance Club because we didn't have one um, and I connected with a few students who had expressed interest and they, they were ready, I was ready, we got it going and so now the club has been functioning for about a year and a half. Um, GSA students were concerned about being misgendered, about not teachers not using the appropriate pronouns, teachers struggling with using um, appropriate names, and it, it's really important to recognize that pronouns and names aren't a preference, they're a statement of fact, and that's what we need to provide is agency and autonomy to our students. Um, and so that is a role that I took on for my students. They asked me to, to educate staff in that. And so I have worked very hard to provide workshops and learning opportunities for our staff. And um, they've welcomed it and have asked for like follow-up things, which has been great. I, I want to recall one of my first experiences with the College of Education was with Professor O'Malley. Um, he has since passed and wonderful man he really was like you <laughs> you need to be in education and I was like what my goodness um, and it was just I believe it was a reading course really um, and he supported me in navigating a few other courses to really expand my interest in what I wanted to pursue after my bachelor degree um, and so just having that one link within it really pulled me in um, and then with the program it's been I appreciate a cohort in a graduate program. All right so here we go. Naturalist, linguistic, logical, musical, bodily, spatial, interpersonal. I have 20 really close friends <laughs> um, but also professionally I'm able to reach out to them 
and to debrief when I need to debrief if I can't meet my team, um, but to also have certain insight because we have people from 23 to late 40, early 50s, um, and I think that's really special to access wisdom across that timeline, um, especially with wisdom from lived experiences. And then there's a certain accountability piece that I really appreciate from a cohort as well. Because working in school counseling, it's really, really easy to get sucked into the school culture that's occurring with the administration and leadership. And being able to have 20 other people and access them and be like, what's happening at your school? How are you handling this? really allows me to pull into my own work um, and so that's like one of the most positive regards I have for the school counseling program for the School of Education is that we're in a cohort and I, I think it's fabulous. <laughs>